So an angiogram is a procedure where we take uh, small tubes called catheters via the arteries in the body up to the heart. Once we know whether there's any narrowings or blockages in the heart arteries, we can then advise people on how to treat these. The commonest cause for an angiogram is concerns about chest pain. And chest pain can be a sign, or the most common sign, of having underlying heart disease. So you would come in usually about an hour before the procedure. The procedure itself is very short, uh, anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, and then you'd be back onto our ambulatory care unit for recovery. Uh, once the bleeding has stopped, after an hour or two, we'll allow you home with some um, advice and instructions. And we tell you all the results and the findings of your um, procedure right there and then on the day. The first and best option is that your arteries are completely normal. If your arteries are completely normal, you don't need anything doing from the heart point of view other than reassurance. The next option might be that you've got some early or minor narrowing in your coronary arteries uh, that just need medical treatment. A uh, third option would be that you may need stents to open up or widen uh, these arteries to improve the blood flow, to improve your symptom burden. And the fourth and final option from all of this is that um, many of your arteries are narrowed up or blocked completely. And in this setting, we often uh, need to consider open heart surgery called coronary artery bypass surgery. Uh, so there are lots of uh, simple, powerful, and important things you can do to minimize your risk of heart disease. Keeping your health down to a healthy weight is very important. Regular exercise with a cardiovascular fitness program is also very important for long-term heart health. If you have got other medical conditions, um, such as high blood pressure or diabetes, then controlling these well can be important. And finally, everybody knows that a healthy, sensible diet is also very important for long-term uh, heart health.